Good morning, dear students. Happy to see you all again through this online classes. Um, successfully, we completed the first chapter. Today, we are in the second chapter. Before starting the class, we will pray and start. Wherever you are, close your eyes. Let us seek the presence of God so that we can understand the day's uh, class without any trouble. Okay? A loving Heavenly Father, thank you for this pleasant morning. Lord, help us to understand today's lesson, Lord. You are the Lord of uh, understanding. Lord, whatever uh, concepts we have in this topic, let it be easier, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. First lesson we completed, isn't it? Uh, coming to the second chapter, it also comes under uh, Unit 1 only. Uh, chapter 2, it is Kingdom Animalia. What is the first one, children? The living world. Okay, so in that living world, uh, since we are learning zoology, uh, kingdom animalia. Yes, so kingdom animalia we are in. And what are the outlines of this uh, kingdom animalia? Uh, when you learn this, uh, what are the objectives you have to follow? Or what are the things you know after learning this? The first one is the basis of classification. What are the basis of the classification? We know uh, the animals are classified. The criteria we have learned, the rules we have learned, isn't it? So, what is the basis of that that we are going to see in this chapter? And uh, the second objective is uh, outline is classification of kingdom animalia. So, this kingdom animalia itself, how it is divided? Uh, vertebrata, invertebrata, invertebra, uh, invertebrata, uh, in the sense, uh, the animals without the backbone, notochord, uh, vertebrata, animals with the backbone. So, classification of kingdom animalia we are going to see. Uh, the fourth uh, outline of this uh, chapter, uh, non-cordates, that is invertebrata, which I told you, the animals without the backbone. So, up to the phyla level about the invertebrata we are going to see. And above core data up to the class level. Children, what is this class level? Uh, last week, what did we learn? Um, hierarchy of the classification. Remember, kingdom, king, praised, class 1, first genius student. Remember, so kingdom, phyla, remember that order? Yeah. So, up to the class level coordinator we are going to see. Introduction uh, to Kingdom Animalia. What is the lesson we are learning? Uh, coming under uh, Animal Kingdom. Kingdom Animalia has got millions of uh, animal species. Uh, since it has got uh, millions of animal species, if we learn without the classification, then uh, confusion will be there. So, to avoid that, animals are classified. This we learned the last week itself, isn't it? So, it is based on what? Based on closely resembling characteristic features. So, they found out closely uh, resembling similarities in the characters. So, based on that, classification is done. So, this uh, kingdom animalia, it is characterized of what and all? Eukaryotes, kingdom animalia has got eukaryotes. It includes multicellular animals and heterotrophic organisms. Eukaryotes, remember children, uh, the cell which has got the nuclear bound or nuclear bound organelles. So, that is eukaryotes. Multicellular animals with the many cells. And heterotrophic organisms, autotrophic Plantae, yes, plants, all plants. Mm, the plants or the organisms which can produce their own food is called autotrophic, isn't it? So, but heterotrophic means animals, they always depend upon the other organisms for the food. So, all these three, it is characterized of this kingdom animalia. It can be asked in one, two more questions. What are they children? Eukaryotes, multicellular and heterotrophic organisms. Okay. This kingdom animalia includes what and all. The characterized we saw includes about uh, 35 different phyla. 
Now, children, phylum singular, phylum uh, uh, or annelida or phylum protozoa, phylum porifera, all this one singular, but in uh, uh, plural form it is phyla. So, 35 different phyla animal kingdom has got. Among this 35, 11 phyla are very major and um, it includes 99% of animals. What is that? Um, the whole organisms, animal kingdom, 99% of animals are invertebrates. What are invertebrates? Animals without the backbone. And remaining only one should be there. Then 1% are vertebrates. Based on the vertebral column, based on the presence of the vertebral column, note of cord. Animals, they have two major groups. One is non-cordates. Non-cordates are otherwise invertebrates. Cordata or cordates, nothing but the vertebrates. Okay. Basis of uh, classification, multicellular organisms usually, they are structurally and functionally different. So, their structure is different and functional is uh, different. What is multicellular organisms? Uh, but uh, some common uh, fundamental features are there in this multicellular organisms. Children, we are in uh, basis of classification. Based on what the classification? Uh, arrangement of uh, cell layer. How cells are arranged. So, based on that classification. And the level of organization. What are the levels of organization? Different levels. How organs are different. Then nature of the coelom, coelom, c-o-e-l-o-m, e, here o is a silent form, okay, coelom, coelom means body cavity or the space that is found in the body, any animal children. So nature of that coelom, nature of the space that is present in the body, so based on that classification is done. And presence or absence of the segmentation, few animals are segmented. For example, um, Annelida, segmentation first be, began in Annelida only children. Uh, last year, no, not last, last year only. 10th standard, uh, leech you would have learned, isn't it? Segmentation, segmented animal. Earthworm, um, segmented animal. So, presence of the segmentation. Absence of segmentation, mollusca, snail, no segmentation. So, might be based on the segmentation or absence of the segmentation. Uh, basis of the classification is done. Then uh, presence of the notochord. How? Uh, um, backbone, the animals. So based on that. Then organization of organ system. What is this organ system? Beginning with the cell. Group of cells are called tissues. And a group of tissues are called organ. And a group of organs together is called organ system. Group of organ system is called organism. Later we will learn. So, organization of the organ system. So, based on these only, they have a basis of classification. So, these are the animals or some common the fundamental features are there. So, based on this, it is done. So, next is uh, levels of organization. Mm, kingdom animalia. In kingdom animalia, all the members of the animals children. They are metazoans. What are metazoans? Metazoans are otherwise called multicellular animals. So, all the multicellular animals are called metazoans. So, in kingdom animalia, all the members are included with what? Included in metazoans. They exhibit what? All metazoans exhibit different uh, patterns of cellular organization. What is it? Over organization. That is Animals less cells are different. Multicellular na nama pathetonia, but naria cells. Irukhe. So that is uh, uh, levels of organization actually. So cells of the metazoans. What? What is that? Uh, the capacity or the eligibility of the cells. Mm, not capable of the independent existence. Adhi thaan aga, or thani alaga, adhi sail pada mudi adhi. Yeah. Abina, they are uh, multicellular. This is the same thing. This is the same 
யாரு புரோட்டோசுவென்ஸ் சிங்கிள் செல்லுலார் ஓர்கானிசம்ஸ் இல்லை யார் இருக்கா அமீபா பிளாஸ்மோடியம் யுக்லீனா ஒன் சிங்கிள் செல் ஹோல் ஓர்கானிசம் பட் ஹியர் many cells are there so it is not capable of independent existence thaniyaga adala vaazha mudiyadu then not exhibiting or it is unable to exhibit the division of the labor it thani thaniya pirichikka mudiya so they are the group of cells so multicellular and among metazoans some cells may be functionally isolated we have seen that multicellular many cells are there and the first category or the first criteria for this is it may be functionally isolated for example where uh, children we the human being we have got different trillions of cells we have we are made up of you know, countless uh, unable to count how many number of cells we are made up of actually um, example you take kidney kidney la edina what is the um, uh, specialized cell we have unit we have in kidney kidney nephron illaya um, you take uh, heart heart la enna edukalam cardiac muscle different uh, kind of uh, cells we have then uh, what is brain you take children brain la uh neuron remember so neuron uh, uh, cell function is different transmission nephron function is different what is that excretion is the main function so they have got functionally isolated mechanism then similar kinds of cells idu vandu thani thaniya avanga avangaloda vela different nu solli paathidom but ore madriyana cells they group together to form the tissues what do you mean by that one cell or single cell or organism a group of cell might be similar kind ellame similar ah irukanga appdi nanichukongala so they form called tissue okay so they together form tissues now this tissue level will go to the organ level organ level will go to the organ system level organ system level will go to the organisms that's what i said so in the second level ipdiyo animals vandu classify aagirukku abingiradha nam ipo the second level la paathirukku okay cellular level of organization mm, basic level of the cellular organization uh, seen in the sponges only Mm, cells in sponges how it is it is loosely aggregated aggregated means grouped miss ena sonna main idu vande protozoans single cell organism next comes to the porifera they are sponges example sponges children next phylum idile cells vande they are not grouped actually they are loosely aggregated aggregated na grouped nu artham but they are not tightly aggregated that is the point in the sponges so they are loosely aggregated and they do not form any tissue group of tissue compactly arranged then only it is called tissue it is not tissue organization so it is a cellular level of organization example sponges example you can take a leucosolenia uh, this we can take uh, that is cellular level of organization we have seen in sponges two layers are there children outer layer and the inner layer we have outer layer la enna abadina ha plate like cells are there and they are called pinacocytes the pinacocytes enna pannum abadina plate like cells that will maintain the uh, size of the sponges i will show you the video okay and inner layer vand coenocytes the coenocytes are inner layer this is outer layer pinacocytes inner layer is coenocytes what is the function of this coenocytes abina it is actually a flagellated collar cells flagellated collar cells are called coenocytes example sponges it is one to one cousin the functions of this coenocytes what it creates and maintains the a water flow actually through the sponges or through sponges children porifera i am talking about the uh, porifera uh, yeah, you have learned this in uh, um, where 
Ninth standard you have learnt. Pori, pore. Pore means hole, minute hole. Okay, fera, body. So, throughout the body, minute holes are present. Okay, that is why they are called porifera. Example, sponges. So, this pore bearing animals, bearing body. So, pore bearing bodied animal. And they possess what? Water vascular. Hey, but through water, tannil avalum boludu. In the tannir mola maga, they maintain the water flow. So, through the water or through the holes, water goes inside. It will capture the food. And whichever is not needed, it will be given out. In water, H2O, uh, water, oxygen is dissolved. Um, now, that dissolved oxygen will go inside and whatever oxygen it needs through the simple diffusion, it takes in oxygen. Now, this facilitates this uh, uh, flagellated collared cell, coenocytes. They facilitate respiratory function and the digestive functions. Children, we are in the sponges, cellular level of organization. Children, next is... Uh, uh, tissue level of organization. Ma, in the uh, levels of organization. The levels of organization le, uh, first one the cellular level. Okay, ma, that is the cell Then coming to the tissue level. Okay. Then we will go to the organ level. Then we will go to organ system of level. Okay, one by one we have seen. So, cellular level we have seen, tissue level. Tissue level, hmm, cellular level, multicellular. In the canon patho, just not aggregated. Illa. It is sponges patho. Yes, and tissue level, now only tissue formation is formed. So, in some animals, Best example we can take a hydra sealant rates. So, mm, this hydra for the first time the similar uh, cells they function together. Uh, they aggregated, they are grouped as tissue children. Now these tissue anga pakamadena pato just uh, the space, isn't it? But here it is grouped. So, integrated in a highly coordinated function. Uh, why and how? Due to the presence of the nerve cell and the sensory cell. So, for the first time in the organization, nerve cells and the sensory cells are present. So, tissue level of organization is present in the hydra example and coming under a cylindrate rate. So, in this cylindrate rate only, it is otherwise called nidarians. Children, C is a silent form. So, nidaria, nidarians. So, they exhibit in uh, nidarians. Uh, formation of the tissues is the first step towards evolution of body plant children. So, first only uh, single cellular organisms on the Then, uh, just loosely uh, arranged cells in sponges. Next is cylindrata tissue formation. So, this can be asked in a two mark question where we find the tissue level of organization nidarians that is cylindrata. Example is hydra. Able to get me children? Coming to the organ level of organization. Now, different kinds of uh, tissues now. Uh, if, uh, tissue group of tissues they aggregate to form the organs. Okay, we have to cell level tissue level over now organ level. So it uh, performs a specific function. Uh, actually, the, this formation of this organ, this is the second step of the advancement over the tissue level. First, in a uh, tissue level path only, uh, formation of the tissue sensory path. Now, formation of the organs, that is a second step over the uh, tissue level advancement. Now, best example we can say is lati helminthus. Still in P is a silent form. Uh, lati helminthus. 
Lateral minthus is otherwise called. Uh, all flatworms, they are come under this uh, lateral minthus. Children, children, example, it is another tapeworm, tinea solium. Then this is planaria. Remember, so in this uh, uh, level, organ level of uh, organization is present. Okay, good example for organ level of organization is lati helminthus tinea solium and planaria and uh, next level ipo organ level over uh, after organ or group of organs are called organ system i said isn't it now organ system level of organization mm, most efficient among the mm, animals in abina it is exhibited uh, by the Flatworms only. The aim of the flatworms. So, organ system is formed now. Uh, not only here, flatworms. Nematodes also. From, ne from flatworms, we can say. Mm, nematodes. Nematodes are roundworms, children. This is flatworm. Latihelminthus. Mm, tapeworm and planaria. Flat are the tattai pool. Nematodes. Ashelminthus. Roundworm, Ascaris, Nakapuchi, White Kular Kred, Annelids, once again, uh, Leech, segmentation is here. Then the next evolution is here, Arthropods, Arthropod, Leg, Jointed Leg, this we are going to see anyway, and Mollusks, uh, Soft Bodied, Echinoderms, Spiny, and um, Chordates, of course, uh, all the Vertebrates from all these, like from flatworms to the chordates, organ system level of organization is found, or we can observe this. Now, next level evolution of the mesoderm. Children, what is mesoderm? Actually, two layers are there. We have seen uh, now, we will see uh, about the body plan. Usually, uh, animals are divided into diploblastic. And triploblastic. What is diplo? Animals with only two layers. What are they? Only two layers. Outer layer and the inner layer. Or ectoderm and the endoderm. Outer and inner. Triploblastic means the animals with the three layers. Outer ectoderm. Inner endoderm we have seen. So, in between this ectoderm and the endoderm, middle layer is formed and that is called mesoderm. Now, formation of this mesoderm, that is a evolution of these animals, all these animals. Okay. So, all these are what? Triploblastic animals. So, formation of the mesoderm is found here. So, good example we can uh, say and uh, this is one Two mark question also. Remember, so give an example for triploblastic animal or animals with the mesoderm formation. So, this, uh, the presence of this uh, mesoderm in these animals, uh, it shows or it led to the structural complexity. The structure itself, it is complicated. But before that, it is very, 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 very Easy, simple form of organization is there. But from now onwards, the animals, they are going to have a complicated system. Children, remember, can you follow? You um, know, cell, single cellular organism. Then tissue level, aggregated, uh, not grouped. This uh, is tissue level. This is sponge as example. Then the tissues together. And they are Nidarian example we have seen. Next level, organ level of uh, organization. Idhikku Latihelminthus. Helminthus. Idhu protozoa. Idhu nama paakkavai kadayadu. Metazoans lanna paathitruko. Tissue, organ, organ systems. So each system, it is associated with a specific function. Might be... Uh, highly specialized uh, nerve and uh, uh, sensory cells. So, uh, nerve cells and sensory cells, they both coordinate and they 
integrate the functions of the whole organ system student that is why the organs are uh, functioning actually a uh, good example for organ remember heart is one organ brain is one organ then kidney is one organ okay for digestive system digestive system la enna la irukku pancreas irukku stomach or organ la uh, kidney is another organ appo vera enna la irukku um lungs for the uh, digest uh, for the respiratory system so each organ system they coordinate <clears throat> how it is coordinated highly specialized nerve cells are there and the sensory cells are there it might be the functions of these uh, organs might be uh, primitive ah irukalam romba simple ah irukalam it is based on the uh, the organism low form of animal are that na it's going to be very primitive and simple but when the higher uh, order of animals and this organ system will be very 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 complex it depends upon the individual animal um, example eduthukonu so na digestive the digestive system of uh, latihelminthes you take children latihelminthes ipo da nama paathom take worm paathom illa flat worm இதுல இட் ஹஸ் காட் ஒன்லி ஒன் ஓப்பனிங் சில்ட்ரன் லோவர் ஃபார்ம் ஆஃப் அனிமல் லேட்டி ஹெல்ப் இன் திஸ் ஃபிளாட் ஃபார்ம் இட் ஹஸ் காட் ஒன்லி ஒன் ஓப்பனிங் டு தி எக்ஸ்டீரியர் தட் இஸ் ஒன் ஓப்பனிங் தட் இஸ் ஃபங்க்ஷனிங் அஸ் போத் மவுத் அண்ட் தி ஏனஸ் ஸோ எனி ஆர்கானிசம் ஆர் எனி அனிமல் இன் தட் ஒன்லி ஒன் ஓப்பனிங் இஸ் தேர் எக்ஸ்டீரியர் ஓப்பனிங் அண்ட் both served as uh, mouth and the anus then it is called incomplete digestive system okay so help lati help in this uh, incomplete digestive system this is one two mark question you just mark and uh, but you take next level after the lati help in this ama nama ipo enna paatha solunga na porifera paatho okay va phylum porifera after that phylum cylindrate and nidarian after that latihelminthes adukaprumave in the askelminthes da so this is with the false seal this we are going to see what is this seal askelminthes la irund chordates variko for example askelminthes kaprama enna varum we can take annelida அனலிடாக்கு அப்புறமா ஆர்த்ரோபோட் ஆர்த்ரோபோட்ஸ் அப்புறம் மொலஸ்கா மொலஸ்காக்கு அப்புறம் எக்கினோடோமேட்டா எக்கினோடோமேட்டாக்கு அப்புறமா கார்டேட்டா ஸோ இதுல இருந்து ஆஸ்கல் மீன்ஸ் வந்து கார்டேட்ஸ் வரைக்கும் இருக்கிற எல்லா அனிமல்ஸ்க்குமே டைஜஸ்டிவ் சிஸ்டம் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா இட் ஹஸ் காட் டூ ஓப்பனிங் ஒன் ஏனஸ் அஸ் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் அண்ட் மவுத் இஸ் different so animal which has got two openings then it is called a complete digestive system example sollona from askelminthes to chordates now this is about the digestive system illiya ma organ system la irukum so organ system together making one system now coming to circulatory system circulatory system na unna ungalku enna nyam end organ nyam varano heart niyabagam varanum illaya now in even in this circulatory system uh, two types are there one is the open type of circulation or circulatory system and the next one is closed type of circulatory system one what is this open type uh, uh, lower form of animals arthropods mollusks uh, echinoderms and urochordates euro means tailed chordates uh, there we have from this this open type of circulation only they don't have blood vessels children so the the circulatory system or the blood is just open like a tap system so it is filled within the space of the tissues okay then it is called open type of circulatory system example arthropods arthropod ke example solunga insects cockroaches ah adella arthropods mollusk snail echinoderms example we can say what in an example solla 
uh, starfish we can take, isn't it? So, all these we have in open type of circulatory system. Coming to closed type of circulatory system, uh, it has got blood vessels still in higher form of animals. Analytes are in the arm chilla. Analytes, cephalo, chordata, urochordata, and tail and so Chordates or notochord that is uh, uh, contained within the uh, uro tail region. And in the cephalocardiac, cephalana head in the So, it is related to the head region. So, in cephalocardiac and even in vertebrates, we have got the um, closed type of circulation. Why? Because blood is carried through the blood vessels. Now, what are the blood vessels we have? We have got different types of vessels. What are they? Arteries, veins and capillaries. So, through this, blood is being circulated and then it is called Closed vessels. Where are we? We are in the organ system of organization. So, children in kingdom Animalia, we have uh, started uh, looking into a different uh, basis of classification. We have seen on that basis cellular level, tissue level, organ level of organization, and organ system level of organization. We have seen today. Okay, I will send you questions. Hope you have understood. Uh, it is basic children. Try to understand if you want to see again and again. You uh, sit and watch, listen to it and uh, make it uh, understandable. Okay, and it is very, 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 very useful. And uh, don't skip uh, listening to the video children. Uh, throughout the video, you kindly sit in one corner and listen to it, watch it. And try to understand it. I wish you all the best. And I uh, will send you the questions. And the work what you have to do today. All the best. Stay blessed. And uh, stay home safely. May God bless you.